Hello students, welcome to Notebook. In today's video lesson, we shall discuss nouns. The term noun is taken from the Latin word nomen, which means name. A noun is defined as a word that signifies the name of a person, place, animal or a thing. Examples Akriti is a gymnast. Name Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan. Place I have two cats at home. Animal Maya is playing with her toy. Thing Nouns are of five kinds. These are Proper noun, common noun, collective noun, material noun, and abstract noun. Let us discuss each of the mentioned nouns. First, we have the proper noun. Proper noun is used to denote a particular place, person, or thing. We always use a capital letter to begin a proper noun. Examples Akshay is a good student. Sushmita lives in New Delhi. Next, we have the common noun. Common nouns are used to show all things of the same kind or the same class. Examples Book, Girl. Examples of some sentences with common nouns are The boy is enjoying his food. Which book are you reading? Are you going to school tomorrow? Collective noun refers to a set or group of people, animals or things. For example, a team of players. Here are some common examples of collective nouns. A swarm of bees. An album of photographs. A litter of puppies. A pack of cards. Next, we have the material noun. It stands for materials, substance or ingredients of which things are made. Examples a wall is made up of bricks. The blanket is made up of wool. The last kind of noun that we shall discuss today is the abstract noun. Abstract nouns are qualities, feelings or ideas. These are called abstract nouns because we cannot touch, hear or smell them. For example, happiness. Examples Children must be allowed to enjoy their freedom. I have great respect for my teachers. Next, we shall discuss countable and uncountable nouns. Nouns which can be counted are called countable nouns. They can be singular or plural. For example, bottle and bottles. Here is a list of some singular and plural nouns. Singular, room, Plural rooms. Singular city. Plural cities. Singular bush. Plural bushes. Singular lady. Plural ladies. Singular story. Plural stories. Singular life. Plural lives. Singular leaf. Plural leaves. Notice how plurals are formed using S, ES or IES. Here's a little task for you. In your free time, try and find out the plural forms of any common noun that you find around you. We also have the uncountable nouns, which cannot be counted. Examples of such nouns are milk, oil, sugar, cloth, bread, etc. Let us now quickly go through some questions to revise what we have discussed so far. Question. Underline the nouns in the sentences and state their type. A. Mohan was visiting a hill station for the first time. B. Imran was a good boy who liked to read books. C. I do not like to wear woolen clothes. D. We are going to visit Goa next month. E. Honesty is the best policy. Answer. 
A. Mohan was visiting a hill station for the first time. Mohan, proper noun. Hill station, common noun. B. Imran was a good boy who liked to read books. Imran, proper noun. Boy, books, common nouns. C. I do not like to wear woolen clothes. Woolen, material noun. D. We are going to visit Goa next month. Goa, proper noun. E. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty, abstract noun. Question. State whether the following are countable or uncountable. Oxygen, banana, history, ice, knowledge, air, chair. Answers. Countable, banana, chair. Uncountable, oxygen, history, ice, knowledge, air. That's all for today's discussion. We hope this helps you understand nouns better. See you soon.